Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina, your Toyota resource. For me, this is pretty exciting. We've been covering a lot of changes coming to upcoming 22 model years. And we're gonna focus on Forerunner today because I have the brochure. So this will give you your first look. It'll give you your complete look at options, trims, colors, features. Let's go. So here we go, here's the brochure. This is page one. And what I'll do is I'm gonna go from zooming in, zooming out, and then anytime you wanna stop the video, please feel free. But here we see a forerunner in Barcelona Red going through the water. Now that's a good shot. 22 forerunner, here we come, all right. Let's take a look here. 35 years and counting, and then we've got a new TRD Sport coming. Again, stop the video if you want to read this. TRD Sport in nautical blue. TRD Off-Road Premium in Barcelona Red. The Trail Edition in Lunar. If you get a TRD Sport, you do have to get a hockey stick or a dog or a campfire or a best friend. Conquer the Off-Road. Look at this. Multi-terrain monitor. Hill Start Assist. Multi-terrain select. That multi-terrain monitor, that's new. We've got Off-Road Premium in Barcelona Red and a couple other friends here. TRD Sport is going to have the X-Reyes suspension, 20-inch wheels. This is the same suspension that you find in the Limited. Also, you'll see 20-inch wheels just like you will on the Limited as well. X-Reyes, of course, is smooth suspension on the road and it should do you just fine off the road as well, but mostly this is known for being on the road. Locking rear diff, that locks both of the back wheels on the same axle and they turn at the same speed so that you can get through tough obstacles. Crawl control is a low speed cruise control, again, to get through obstacles like sand or mud or dirt. Kinetic dynam dynamic suspension system, that's about a $1,750 option as of 21 and you can get that on the off-road, off-road premium. Some people like that. It does make it a little bit more rare to get the KDSS, so you could wait a little bit longer, but a lot of people think it's well worth it. So worth it. Da -da 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 -da. Trail special edition here in Lunar Rock. If it's in Lunar Rock, why aren't they going to show pictures of it? They are, as much as possible. Remember, this has the Yakima basket on top. It's got those beautiful wheels here. I believe they're 17 inch wheels. And then it's got the black badging. It's also got the 40 quart cooler. We're gonna see a picture of that coming up too. Off-road premium in red. LED headlights. Every trim level is gonna have LED high beams and LED low beams as well. LED fog lights. Here's the redwood interior. It's not the best picture. We'll see a little bit better of that coming up and everyone can tow 5,000 pounds with your Forerunner, like this boat. Here's our first look at Lime Rush, which is different from Electric Lime Metallic. I'll show you that in a minute. It's got flow form wheels. It's got these all-terrain tires, Nitto Terra Grappler. What do you think of that Lime Rush, everybody? What do you think of these rocks? Look what it can do. What a shocking color. This is the most shocking color since probably Voodoo Blue. This is the most dramatic episode yet on the next episode of Forerunner Bachelor. Here we go. TRD Pro is going to have the Fox Shocks. That quarter inch thick aluminum skid plate. There's a lot going on. This is the TRD Pro interior. Okay, this is page six of 23. Now, when you get a new Forerunner, you can take pictures by the water on the hillside. You can also take pictures in a parking lot or in the hills or next to the water. Remember, you have to do that. You have to take pictures around scenery when you get your Forerunner and then send them to Toyota Jeff One Instagram. I'll post them. Here's the TRD Sport, some things that you can look forward to getting. And then the Limited has those 15 JBL speakers, the X-Reyes suspension, full-time four-wheel drive, you can see. And then 
20 inch wheels with chrome accents all over the place. TRD Sport, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Up to 88.8 cubic feet of storage. You can get the optional sliding cargo deck. I'll show you pictures of that coming up. You can get an available, which means optional, power moonroof. It's not standard in everything. You'll see the eight inch multimedia touchscreen. Here's the redwood interior that you can find on Limited. Look at the color matching cooler, 40 quart cooler. It also has the sliding rear cargo deck. That holds 440 pounds. So tailgating, watching your kids games, doing work on your workbench. You can plug in right here with the grounded outlet. This one has optional moonroof. That's not standard on TRD Pro. I'm sorry, TRD off-road premium, I should say. Duh. Hey, eight different airbags, folks. Holla. Here's your backup camera, tire pressure monitor system, side impact door beams. It absorbs energy if you have a collision so that could keep people safe if you're sitting on the sides. Part of Toyota safety, folks. Then we've got Apple CarPlay standard, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa, Sirius XM. Look at some of these things too. We've got Safety Connect, Service Connect. Remote Connect is the one I use all the time. You can lock your doors, unlock your doors. You can start your car, stop your car. That means you can keep it cool or hot before you get into it, which is nice on a day where it's gonna be 93 and humid. That's why I'm inside filming today. Wi-Fi Connect, you do have to sign up with a plan to do it, but then you get your hotspot, JBL of course. Safety, Toyota Safety Sense P. This is not Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 or TSS 2.5 plus like you see in the new Camry or the new Highlander. But pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar, cruise control, lane departure alert, and automatic high beams. Here's the models. This may be one of the things you guys have been waiting for. Thanks for your patience. Now, I'm at 125% zoom. I'm gonna try to keep it as real and big as possible so that you can see, but I am gonna decrease the zoom soon too. So we've got SR5 Trail, which replaces or adds things from the SR5, same thing with TRD Sport. So you're gonna to have to stop the video to look, but remember LED, everything is gonna be standard all the way across the board, okay? This starts SR5 with fabric trim seats. You'll see it goes to Softex when you go to the SR5 Premium. Trail, black fabric seats, the cooler, all that jazz. TRD Sport, X-ray suspension, hood scoop, badge. Then we've got soft tech seats, standard heated seats, power, driver, and passenger seat. The passenger seat does not go up and down. Goes forward and backward and reclines by power. And then here's the second row, TRD swag, we'll call it. Now we're gonna look at the option packages. All right, so on the SR5, you can get premium audio with dynamic navigation that updates in real time when you need it. Optimize this from the clown, cloud, not clown. Running boards, you can get either a third row seat or you can get the sliding cargo deck or nothing. Same thing with SR5 premium and the limited. You could get a third row, but those are the only three trim levels where you can get the third row. Okay, the Trail Edition has premium audio available and running boards. This one right here, this is the TRD Sport. You can get the tech package. Technology package has blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, RCTA in the house. Premium audio you can upgrade to, sliding cargo deck, automatic running boards, and the panoramic view monitor that allows you to see around your vehicle. Let's go to the next ones. SR5 Premium, which builds on the SR5, off-road and off-road premium. So again, feel free to look. These are gonna have locking rear diff. They're gonna have crawl control and multi-terrain select. So those could be important ones. And then if you look at the comparison here, the interior, this is gonna be fabric. This is gonna be soft text with a power passenger seat. Also has turn signal indicator in the side mirror. That's how you know it's an off-road premium, just walking up to it. Also, you get standard premium audio. So you get the dynamic navigation system, standard. All right, so let's go down here. Now look at this. 
SR5 Premium, you can get the Premium Plus package, which gives you the panoramic monitor. So you can see the sides, in front of, behind, power moonroof, running boards. Then we can get third row seats or the sliding cargo deck. Now this one here, off-road, off-road premium. You can get premium audio, running boards, KDSS, sliding cargo deck, and premium audio. I already said that. I wonder if they're the same thing. Weird. Anyway, this one right here on the TRD off-road premium, you can get the premium plus package, multi-terrain monitor that adds in. Boom! Power moonroof, running boards, KDSS, sliding cargo deck. We've got two more to see. We've seen six. Here we go. Limited. And then we've got TRD Pro. Holla. All right. So here's what we can add in. This one's going to have standard panoramic view monitor. This is what I'm confused at. I was under the impression that TRD Pro would have the multi-terrain monitor standard on it. And so that would give you a look in front of your vehicle and underneath it as well, I believe. So we can see Fox shocks on this one. This one has the x ray suspension. We're going down the list and I'm going to look for the cameras and see if I see them anywhere. I'm almost positive. The specs are going to show that this limited has standard panoramic view monitor and this has standard panoramic view monitor, but I don't think that's right. I think it's the multi-terrain monitor that's standard on this one. I guess we'll find out together. All right, so here we go. Automatic running boards, third row or sliding cargo deck. And on the TRD Pro, you can get the premium audio upgrade, connected services. Oh, I'm sorry, that's standard. Duh, running boards and sliding rear cargo deck. Come on, Jeff, you're better than that. 10 different color choices and we'll look at interior also. Midnight Black, Nautical Blue, what's your favorite? Put it in the comments. Army Green, Lunar Rock, holla. Look at that, three different shades of greenish. Lime Rush, again, different from Electric Lime Metallic. Red, gray, silver, Blizzard Pearl, super white. Super white, super white, it's super freaky. Now look at these patterns here. SR5 is gonna have beige or graphite. Trail is just gonna have graphite. This is for the premium or upgrades. It's going to have beige or graphite. TRD Off-Road, Off-Road Premium are going to have either soft text black or black fabric. Here we go. The Limited has redwood, beige, or black. And then the TRD Sport is going to have black soft text, it says. Here are the wheels, six different patterns. You can also upgrade those. So SR5 has a 17 inch. 17 inch on the trail, they're just that dark smoke gray color. Sport has 20 inch, Limited has 20 inch. Off-road, boom, 17 inch, just different design. And then this one's completely different here. One of these kids is not like the other. 17 inch matte black with the red TRD stamp. Stamp of approval, boom. Some accessories you could add. Cargo tray, roof rack crossbars, all weather liners, step tubes, black emblem overlays, exhaust tip. You can add these too, the same wheels that you get in the Pro, mud guards, and then a safe that goes in the center console. Warranties, three years, 36,000 mile comprehensive, powertrain, five years, 60,000 miles, rust through, five years, unlimited miles. This is where it gets a little crazy. I'm gonna have to zoom in and out because I will not be able to show all of these trim levels here. SR5, Trail, TRD Sport, SR5 Premium, try to remember that. Off-Road, Off-Road Premium, Limited, Limited Pro, or TRD Pro, Standard and Optional, O is Optional. If you don't see it Standard and it's the same section, look for it different. See, this one's Standard on SR5, but here. So it's not available on SR5, but it is on the Trail. Different design. So let's go all the way through. As far as we can, I'm gonna go down a little bit in size. Hopefully you'll be able to see this okay. So just kind of look at these options here. The interior, you'll have to go back and remember what we have for the different trims. I remember SR5 and TRD Pro here, this is limited. And then I guess we'll, I'll try going out here. So you can see our trim levels again. We're gonna go to the next page, page 18, Just come back to the video. Okay, I'm gonna show this 
right here and then we'll zoom in. So you can look at whichever screen you like better, mo better. Okay. All right, there we go. And then, so just look here, see your options, see which one's important to you. And we're gonna go on. Next page, we're on page 19. Safety features. Most of these are gonna be standard because that's just standard across the board. Toyota is so huge with safety. Packages, these might be important to you. The SR5 Premium Plus package is on SR5 Premium. You can get the panoramic view monitor. The off-road Premium Plus package, this one has the multi-terrain monitor and that's on the off-road Premium. I just, I feel like if you notice that it does not say multi-terrain monitor, it says panoramic view monitor, standard unlimited and TRD Pro. I really feel like this is supposed to say standard multi-terrain monitor. I do, but I guess I could be wrong. But look, you can get panoramic view monitors uh, as an option on the TRD Sport and SR5 Premium. So that's sort of cool. Technology package, blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert. You can get that on the Sport. All right. And then let's just go down. You can look at the radio systems. We're going to go to page 20. A lot of this is going to be standard. On this one, if you see an A, that means it's available. Okay. Optional means it's an upgraded option. Standard. Most of the time that means it's available. You'll get it if it's a two-wheel drive. It'll be available. Four-wheel drive, that type of a thing. So just look at those features here. Notice how the approach angle changes when you get to the off-road. That's helpful. Ground clearance is either nine for two-wheel drive, 9.6 for four-wheel drive. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the suspension differences. You can get optional KDSS on the off-road, off-road premium. You can get the X-ray as standard on the TRD Sport and the Limited, and then the Fox system is right here standard on the pro let's roll here okay you're going to have to look at these on your own just to see what's important to you but i will tell you remember you can get third row on sr5 sr5 premium and the limited but it's not available it'll be two rows standard on the other ones on all of them you can get the sliding rear cargo deck if you want fuel tank capacity 23 gallons and you're always going to be getting average of about 17, depending on how you drive, of course. Let's go to the disclosures. Blah, 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 blah. 59, engine immobilizer. Number 60, Toyota Jeff is awesome. If you like the video, please hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope the brochure was helpful. And there's no good way to do that because I have only so much screen and a lot of information. So I hope you were able to gather what you wanted out of it. What do you think of the Lime Rush color? What do you think of the new features coming? Blind spot monitor we can get. We can get multi-terrain monitor, panoramic view monitor. We got some changes coming up. So what do you think about the Forerunner? And I guess I'll talk to you soon. You can check out my new channel, Auto Jeff Reviews, where I review all brands, Auto Jeff. Toyota Jeff, but I'd love if you tried it. We're at 1,620 something subscribers on Auto Jeff, hoping to get to 2,000 as soon as possible. And then the next step, 5,000 and 10,000. Let's see where it goes from there. I'm on Instagram at Toyota Jeff One and Auto Jeff Reviews. And then my websites are AutoJeff.com, ToyotaJeff.com. Thanks guys so much. I'm on TorqueNews.com slash Toyota. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace to the world. I'm out.